people were lying to Baba. People from Mount Kenya were lying to Baba about the actual situation on the ground. But in fact, we were being told we could get this 30 percent when they themselves, some of these people were speaking. So yesterday, the Azimio Moja Alliance leader, Right Honorable Raila Odinga, who was very angry, very bitter, and very much upset, was forced to convene a very urgent and a top secret or a private crisis meeting at his own place in Karen with some of the topmost ODM party leaders alone. The most shocking thing here is, ladies and gentlemen, Raila Odinga was rejecting any member or any leader of the Azimio Lomoja Alliance affiliated parties. So the people or the leaders from the ODM party who attended that meeting are one, we have uh, the, the, the ODM party secretary general by the name Edwin Sifuna. I know majority of you know him because he is the, is the senator for Nairobi County. The second person is the Sunna East member of the National Assembly by the name Honorable Junet Mohammed, who is also the minority whip in the National Assembly. We have Honorable uh, or the, the Gunja member of uh, the National Assembly by the name uh, James Opio Wandai, who is also the minority leader in the National Assembly. Those are just some of the topmost. ODM uh, party leaders who attended that meeting, among other several leaders uh, who were able to attend that crisis meeting convened by Raila Odinga. So in that meeting, they discussed on a wide range of issues, matters to do with politics and also some major challenges or some major issues which are affecting the ODM party and also the as Mio Lomoja Alliance as a whole. But according to my personal consideration or according to my personal view, ladies and gentlemen, the two main reasons as to why Raila Odinga convened this, this meeting is that Raila Odinga, who is the party leader of ODM, wanted to discuss or to chat the next political move of the ODM party. In case, just in case, you know, the Azimio Lomoja as a coalition has been facing recently, it has been facing several uh, challenges, several issues there. So just in case, in a few days to come, the Azimio Lomoja breaks up like what happened in the previous case of the NASA coalition. What will ODM do? So I, according to my personal view, they were discussing uh, the next political move of the ODM as a party. The second main issue here is Raila Odinga wanted also to, to, to solve the issues that are affecting the Azimio Lomoja Alliance. You know, recently, ladies and gentlemen, the Azimio Lomoja Alliance has been facing a lot of challenges, including very bitter clash among some of the political parties, including the Jubilee Party, and the ODM party in the Azimio Moja Alliance. So also Raila Odinga wanted to discuss on these issues, how they can solve all these problems, you know, with uh, these leaders. But before even we proceed, I just want you to listen briefly to this clip of uh, the ODM Secretary General by the name Edwin Sifuna and the Jubilee Party Secretary General by the name Jeremiah Kioni, publicly exchanging very bitter words, you know, bitter clash. Then we proceed. Percent of the vote in Mount Kenya. If you look at the registered number of voters in Mount Kenya of about 6 million, that means that uh, uh, Jeremiah Kioni and his party was supposed to deliver 2.4 million votes. 1.2 million votes. Um, if you compare with what Laida had gotten there before, at least for those of us who are with them, they should show respect. People were lying to Baba. People from Mount Kenya were lying to Baba about the actual situation on the ground. But in fact, we were being told we could get this 30 percent when they themselves, some of these people who are speaking, knew that even they themselves were going to lose. The only reason why I'm not in Bunge 
is because of uh, having stuck with Jubilee and having supported Raira. I mean, for those of us who are that loyal and have not even agreed to be enticed by any support or even on the floor by Uda, like others are, have, are, are showing. I mean, you, the person you have been loyal to should continue, should reciprocate. They knew it, but they were lying to us, and then I hear them saying... They... Now, that is the current situation right now as we speak in the Azimio Moja Alliance Coalition. It is very much embarrassing to see topmost leaders exchanging bitter words in public. Very much embarrassing. But what can we say? It is how it is. But the question here is, why did Raila Odinga decide to reject other members or other leaders of the Azimio Moja Alliance Coalition affiliated parties in that meeting? That is what we are going to discuss in this video. But before that, if you happen to be watching or to be in this platform for the first time, kindly support me by subscribing to this channel. Please give this video a like so that YouTube can recommend my channel to reach out to other people. And to my subscribers, to my loyal viewers also, I just want to take this opportunity. Thank you guys for your continued support. Actually, I'm not taking that for granted. We have come a very uh, for a long way and we are not yet done. This is how we always do in this platform. You can also support this channel by pressing that notification bell so that each and every time I upload a video on this platform, YouTube will automatically notify you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much as you subscribe. Now let us go into details of this video briefly. You know, the Azmiulo Moja Alliance consists of several political parties there, like-minded parties, who came together because they serve the same interest, who came together because they want or they have the same, same ambition. They came together to work a political journey together. But here is a situation whereby we are seeing all these divisions. So why did Ray Lodinga decide to reject other leaders and decide to call this meeting for an ODM party leadership alone? According to my personal view, ladies and gentlemen, the first point is that it is because of the privacy. You know, this meeting wanted, or this meeting, or the main aim of this meeting is because it, it was, uh, um, uh, they wanted to discuss matters within the ODM party alone. You know, we have the ODM as a party, or we have several parties, then we have the coalition. There are, there are some issues that you can discuss as your own party, and there are some issues you can discuss as a coalition. The issues that you can discuss as a party are issues like, you know, the leadership roles, who is in charge with it, with, with uh, which type of leadership in the ODM party, who is in charge with uh, uh, this kind of a leadership, who is the party leader, you know, those are the kind of things they discussed. Also, they can discuss matters to do with financial issues. Those are kind of private issues within the party which you cannot discuss in the coalition, you can also discuss uh, the disciplinary issues in case somebody or any leader decides to go against the rules within the ODM party. You cannot discuss those issues in the Azimio, but you can discuss the, those issues on how you can discipline that person as a party. But some issues that you can discuss in the in the, in the coalition are issues to do with politics, issues to do with rallies. How can you operate these rallies? Uh, in which uh, a, a by election or in any election, you know, those kind of issues. You can also decide to discuss matters to do with uh, 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 party po or uh, coalition positions, you know, who is, will become, will be appointed in this kind of leadership you know, this position. Those are the kind of things that you can discuss. So the first point is 
reloading and rejected all these people simply because of privacy. He wanted privacy in the ODM party issues. The second thing, it simply signifies the beginning or the fallout among the Azmiu Lomoja Alliance uh, affiliated parties. That is why we are seeing all this kind of manner of divisions there. It kindly, it, or it, uh, it shows that it is the beginning of the end of the Azimio Lomoja S uh, coalition. This is not a new thing happening. It will just happen like what happened previously in the previous NASA coalition. The, the divisions then, the fallout, bitter fallout then, that is it. And the, that thing, it is because they wanted to discuss the next political move as the ODM party. You know, several parties in the Azimio have been threatening to quit the coalition, like the Jubilee and others. So what if other parties decide to defect? What will the, the, the ODM party do? So they have to discuss uh, their next political move. And the fourth and the last point is that they wanted to discuss, or, or Lilo Denga wanted to send a quoted message to the Azimio Lomoja Alliance uh, affiliated parties. Just as I had said it earlier that these affiliated parties to Azimio, they have one ambition. They are together, they serve the same, same interest. But Raila Odinga, you know, causing all this division by, you know, separating the ODM from other uh, parties, it, signific it signifies that it is the beginning of the divisions. He wanted to send a coded message to all these affiliated parties. That was it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what you think. Let me hear your thoughts on the comment section below. Otherwise, I don't have much. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you in the next video. Thank you.